Hey guys. Well, I thought I'd do a little video on a few things that came in this week. And the first thing we're going to look at is the TFCon um, exclusive Jaguar Covert, the uh, clear ravage, the tape from Ocular Max. I do have the original. I didn't get it new, so it's a little fucked up, but uh, we'll do a comparison anyway. But let's get out of the box. So here he is out of the box, and you can see he comes packaged with some styrofoam around him. So it's really well protected. Now here's what it looks like up close. You can get that. Yeah, so it's just a cassette. You've probably seen this before anyway, but uh, I'll take it out. First time I'm taking it out, actually. It looks tight, that's for sure. A little picture in there. That's kind of cool. Kind of neat what it looks like. And the instructions are in here if the uh, it's the same as the last. And, uh, yeah. So it looks pretty nice. Now, I'm a little worried about the translucent plastic. I mean, it always has a reputation of breaking. So uh, I'm going to be really, really gentle with this guy. Looks like he has a red head. Oh, strange, huh? Oh, let's get transformed up and see what he looks like. Wow. Hmm. Well, oh wait, let, let's look at the box. Uh, take this out. Let's see here. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it comes with a little card. Ah. Cool. Not, it's just cardboard, though it's not like the plastic ones that we usually get now. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And uh, that's what it looks like, I guess. And this is how to transform them. Anyway, let's uh, let's transform them up and see what it looks like. Here he is, transformed up, and uh, it's a nice it's a nice figure. Well, it's the same as the other one, but uh, it's, it's I always thought the other one was well done. Anyway, um, what's really Different though is these uh, boosters, rocket boosters, whatever the hell they are, missiles. Um, they are totally plastic, clear plastic on this one, whereas the other one they're metal. But the red was for the uh, face, the uh, the mouth, and the eyes, which was pretty cool. I think they did a pretty good job. I'm a little worried over time about this translucent plastic, just because I've always heard that it's brittle as hell. But um, well, we'll see. But uh, let's compare the two. And there they are in comparison to one another. As you can see, the uh, the rockets or the boosters or whatever the hell they're supposed to be um, are die-cast metal on, on the uh, the uh, original. And uh, I put those Decepticon symbols on the shoulder. I thought it looked pretty good. But uh, yeah, so that's the difference. It's a really nice figure. I got this from ages three and up. And they might still have some because it's... Uh, they still had some last week when I looked a couple days ago. So uh, And it was pretty reasonably priced too. So... It was a lot cheaper than this one, I'll tell you that. So, yeah, let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, yeah, they got the Bumblebee, and I had to get it, right? I mean, I, I got the Optimus Prime. I got the, you know, the Blitzwing. I got Soundwave coming, so I was like, I cannot not have that one, right? It was it was driving me nuts. So, uh, I, yeah, it's a beautiful figure, too, but uh, this came out a while back, and uh, you've probably seen the reviews on this anyway. And a lot of you have it, so it's a great figure. I agree. I like the battle mask. I have enough bumblebee heads, so I put uh, I put the alternate one on that one. So I think it looks pretty good. What else do we get? I also picked up the last two figures. I had the six pre-ordered at EB Games, but of course only four came in, and don't know if the other two were going to come in. So I was like, uh, fuck that. I'm going to buy them from somewhere else because EB Games. It's sort of an it's their pre-orders are more like a suggestion, let's just say, because I must have pre-ordered a hundred things and I probably got five. I'm going to call them up this week because I actually paid for some of that stuff and it's been months. I've never even heard from them. It's really, really getting bad now. But anyway, back to the figure. Uh, I don't know much about Venom Pool, I have to say, but I like Venom and I like Deadpool. So it was a must, right? You had to buy it. So it's a really nice figure. The only thing I really don't like is the back. 
And the reason I say that is because this fucking thing, it clips on very loosely. And from the molding, it looks like it goes upside down. Now, I'm going to look on the internet after. I haven't checked it out. I just put it together, right? So um, maybe there's a story behind that. Maybe that's how it is in the comic or wherever the hell this is from. I don't even know if it's a comic. But uh, it's really nice. So I do like it. And I guess I'm happy that I got it. And we were actually pretty lucky for this line to have the figures that we got for the Build-A-Figure. Um, I remember that Demi-Goblin or whatever had some really horrible figures in it. I would love to get the, the uh, build a figure, but I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't get all the figures. I just couldn't, but, uh, these, these are pretty nice. We got the, uh, what ghost spider, I'm not sure exactly where she's from too, but I mean, they're the venom characters, right? Or with the tongue and everything that looks pretty sweet. She's not bad. And we get the miles Morales. We got the Morbius and we got the carnage venom and we got the phage over there. So, um, I like, Pretty much every, I think Morbius is maybe my least favorite, but that as the least favorite, it's really good. I mean, so, um, and of course we have this, these here, the, the other hands and they can have uh, the swords that fit in the sheath. But I like this, that like those hands. So I'll probably pose them with just his scabbards on the back with the swords in them and just have these hands. But uh, what else did we get? We got something else, I'm sure. When I was ordering a few things, I saw that Ages 3 and Up have these coins. And since I don't have any of the Masterpiece official line, well, mm, a couple, but not many. I definitely don't have the Megatron. Um, I figured I'd pick up the coin. Eh, it wasn't very expensive. It was only like six bucks, I think it was. Something like that. But it's pretty neat. I'm not exactly sure. if I think that's it, though. I wasn't sure what it was, so... Yeah, that's it, I guess. <laughs> I got the sound wave one too. Can you see that? Let's see. Yeah, that's all right. It is metal, so it's kind of cool, I guess. And we got this one the sound wave, the Destron laser wave. This is cartoon version, I think, this one, right? MP, MB29 Plus, yeah. I think that's what it was, but uh, it's nice. Yeah, and like I said, they weren't very expensive, so they had a few, so I figured I'd pick up a couple of the, the ones that I would like the most and see what they look like. I finally got my Quintus on Judge. They went, like, I don't know what's going on in Canada. We're just not getting this. We're getting a couple hundred probably at a time only, and uh, it was on Amazon for regular price. It wasn't even cheap. Regular price here on these fucking things is like 40 bucks plus tax. And I bought it, and then the next day it was now it's 75 again on Amazon. So, fucking guys. So, I don't know if I'll open it. I, I, I'm probably going to get another one when they come back in circulation for the re regular price. But, uh, and I, I don't usually, like I've been saying this, and uh, I think I've been lying really. I don't usually buy Star Wars figure anymore, but, uh, I had this one pre-ordered and it actually came in. Ooh, so I, I picked it up. It's uh Gar Gar Zeb or anyway, it's fucking it's from Rebels that I have no idea. I just like the looks of the figure. He's a pretty beefy looking come on, get out of the way, Flash. He's a pretty beefy looking figure. And he's a nice color and everything, so yeah, yeah, sure. And I saw this in store. This is an exclusive to GameStop or slash EB Games. And uh, whenever you see a Darth something, you pick it up. Just, you know, just for general principle, <laughs> I always pick up the Darths. And uh, this guy here, I, I saw him. And he's so cool looking. Like, it's just a droid from the Rebels program again. But uh, if you notice inside here, if I can get it inside... He has like the blast effect that go all the way down with the, it looks so sweet. I was going to take it out and I still may, but uh, it looks really good in the box and it has these two pieces that I know if I take it out, they're going to get misplaced and put in the, I don't know, you know, put in a drawer somewhere or something. So I may leave it in. I may not. I haven't decided yet. And of course I got my Admiral Akbar. That sold out immediately too. And now they want 
I don't know, they want 50 bucks for it now or something. I got this regular price on uh, Toys R Us that they had it for a couple days and then it sold out. But, uh, you mean, come on, big fishy Abron bar. Had to have him, right? Did I get anything else? Let's I finally got my Gung Ho in. It was canceled from Walmart and I found it at Toys R Us. They still probably have some. They had some Cobra Commanders and uh, Gung Ho online. So I picked them up. I'm missing, I think, um, eight and nine are the only two I'm missing so far. And I had them pre-ordered. Of course I did, right? And uh, they canceled Amazon. Amazon. It was the Storm Shadow and that Red Ninja. I had them pre-ordered when they first came out. And I was all excited. Yay. And then I just got my final cancellation notice. And I put up a little post about it. And uh, yeah, so I'm missing. Hopefully they're going to start re-releasing these or producing more. And uh, and, <laughs> and I'll be able to get them. But check that out. Like This is what happens when you can't trust pre-orders either. Because I wasn't missing Cobra Commander. So I got one, two, and yeah, three. Did I want three? No, I didn't want three. But uh, now... Um, I can sell one. <laughs> That's always my plan. I never do, but oh, I have three. I can have one out outside the box, one in the box and mint for display and I can sell one, but it never fucking works that way. But anyway, I'm trying to do a new display because I want, I want these guys to have a nice display in front somewhere, but I just don't have the room. So I'm going to try to restructure something and move stuff around. Let's reorganize to see if I can actually, uh, you know, do it. I don't think it's going to work here. Just because I don't, I, I don't see it working there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I, I just saw this again today. I this was one of my. I used to love this guy. Well, I never took him out, but he. Uh, I've had him for a long time, but he's really heavy. The creature from La Lost Lagoon, the Black Lagoon. Sorry, and um, I always liked the way they did this. It was a Universal Studios home of the original monsters they had a bunch of them but this was my favorite and i pre-ordered it and guess what i actually fucking got it but that's you know from an actual toy store so what else what else we got we got something well that's pretty much it except for these two little things that i forgot about uh one is that uh, laser beak blast sound wave it's pretty cool it uh, i haven't opened it and i probably won't but the the little laser beak kind of comes out of his chest and all that and i always like sound wave right so i normally don't collect the cyber reverse but this one kind of looked pretty neat so i picked it up and uh the special edition stormtrooper the holiday edition i thought that was pretty cool well if not cool then pretty cute anyway with his little holiday sweater with the ad uh, hat walker and everything there's a snow trooper coming out too that is a walmart exclusive um i haven't seen it around here but i know it's in the states but uh for pre-order but i if i can i'll probably pick that one up as well and the last thing i want to say is i thank you i forgot earlier to uh marco's wife crystal lovely crystal um thank you very much she she sent me this mask and uh I wore it once while toy shopping, but I'm not going to wear it anymore. I'm going to keep this as a souvenir memento for 2020 because I was wearing it and thinking, what better statement than a fucking mask with a transformer symbol on it can you have for 2020 for me anyway? Because all I did was be in quarantine and online shopping for fucking transformers. So this is perfect. So I'm probably just going to hang that up and keep that for a keepsake. So thanks again, guys. And, uh... Well, that's it for this week, and uh, we'll we'll do another video soon, I'm sure. I might pick up a few things, you know. You never know with me. So, right on, guys. Take care, and we'll talk to you later. Don't you go nowhere. You in good hands now, girl. <laughs> nope, the dogs don't take good care of you, baby. Mm -hmm. You sure it's okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want you to... Just be yourself, okay? I told you I could get a little crazy. Yeah, you get crazy. Come on. Okay. All right, motherfucker. Let's get it on. Oh, no, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>